I'm not kidding you. You could replace a sky in less than five seconds. You could have an image that looks like this, and in five seconds end up with an image that looks like this. As of the making of this video, Luminar 4 has not been released yet. I am working with a beta copy that I was able to get a hold of. If you're interested in purchasing Luminar 4, there will be a link in the description below this video. They're having a pre-sale on it, and you could save quite a bit of money if you purchase it now. Now, what I'm going to show you, in my opinion, is absolutely incredible. I have this image here. All I've done to it is AI enhance, I moved one slider there, AI structure, I moved two sliders there, and landscape enhancer, and I moved two sliders there. So I have this image. I didn't even remove any sensor spots. It's not an okay image, but the sky is really boring. Well, if you go over here to this creative tab that is in Luminar 4, and you go up to the top, you see AI sky replacement. If I click on that and open it, it's prompting you to select a sky. So we'll go right here and I'll just pick dramatic sky one. I'll click on that and wow, it just replaced the sky as simple as that. And if you zoom in, you'll notice there's no haloing. It just replaced the sky. It went around the willow tree over here just fine. No haloing. It went in the windows of that little tower there. Uh, let's do a different one. Let's go to Dramatic Sky 2. And once that renders, <laughs> same thing. Let's go to Dramatic Sky 3, just to look at them, I guess. And you could see that, again, no haloing, just as simple as that. I didn't have to tell Luminar where the sky is. I didn't have to mess around with any masks or anything like that. It just simply replaces the sky. Now you're probably saying, well, you know, that's a kind of a simple image. What if you get something a little more complex? Well, what about this one? I have this tree here. And as you can see, uh, the sky in this one is a little bit boring. So we'll go to AI sky replacement. We'll go to sky selection. And I don't think the sunset ones are going to look quite right here because, or in either of the two images because of the way the light is. You want to try to match the light and where the shadows are, meaning, I have a shadow on the tree falling off to our left and of the bench. So if the sun is over here on the left, it's just not going to look right. So you, that's why you have a lot of choices. And you could pick your own. You could lo load your own sky image if you'd like. So I'll go to Dramatic Sky 1 and wait for that to render. And um, that's not bad. The, sky, the sun's kind of over here, but it's still not right. But if we zoom in, you'll notice it is between all those little tiny leaves. Look at that. I mean, I don't think I could do that in Photoshop. I really don't. It would be difficult. I mean, I could probably do it, but it, would, it wouldn't be easy. Let's go to Dramatic Sky 2. And your main thing here is you're trying to match the shadows. Now, this one's a little better. The light's over on the right. The shadows are being cast towards us and to the left of us. So that one is a little better. And you could see, again, it's flawless. It, doesn't halo. It's uh, all in the little uh, gaps that are in the branches. And we'll go to schematic, dramatic sky three, just for the sake of looking at them. Dramatic sky four. And let's uh, jump down to sunset clouds one, just to look at that one. That one's pretty good. The sun's over here on the right on this one. So that one's not bad. And again, you could see how it just knows where the sky is and replaces it. You don't have to do any masking. You don't have to use any brushes. You don't have to do anything except just choose the sky you want. And it does it. And I'm really blown away by this um, artificial intelligence that's in Luminar 4. So I just wanted to show you uh, how easy and quick it is to replace the sky. I'll be doing more videos in the future where I'll get a little more in-depth. I just wanted to give you a preview of it. Again, in the description below this video, I'll have links to Skylum's website. Uh, you could get Luminar 4 
uh, on pre-sale and save quite a bit of money. Full disclosure, I am an affiliate for Skylum Software. If you use my link to purchase their software, I will make a commission. They have not paid me and they are not paying me to do this video. I will only make money if you use my link to purchase their software. Also in the description below the video will be a link to my code of ethics statement which explains whom, whom I'm affiliated with and what that means. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.